Hey, I'm Marty from Springhead Media Solutions. Today we are going to be making email graphics in Canva based on some of the most popular email design trends. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to make a whole series out of these. I get a lot of questions from people who have designed an entire email in Canva and are then having trouble transitioning it into a functioning email. Uh, really, it's best to have graphics in your email, but then also text and buttons that are separate from the graphic. If you're curious why having one giant image as an email isn't a good idea, I will link to a video talking about that here. Today, what we're going to be doing is creating graphics in Canva inspired by these three emails here. I grabbed these email designs from reallygoodemails.com, which is the place that I go to for email inspiration. All three of these emails have graphics that blend seamlessly into the rest of the email. So then you can have your graphic and regular text and a button. So let's dive in. All right, I'm going to start with a brand new design. I will always make my email graphics 1200 wide and then whatever height we need them to be just for the sake of starting out, I'm making it 1600. So let's take a closer look at the design we're emulating here. This one you can see has an image and then it has text that is bleeding off of the sides of it. So I'm going to start with a frame. That's where my image will be. And then we're going to put some text on top of it that bleeds over. Okay, I'm gonna delete this image in the back so that we can look at it together here. My recommendation would be that you don't split a letter in the middle of the letter, but rather in between the letters. And then I'm going to pick an image. Now the placement of your text is going to have a lot to do with the image that you're using. Now I'm going to put the background color of my email in here, just so that we can see what it's going to look like. Because the background color of emails can change in dark mode, I'm going to download this image as transparent, which means that this yellow portion will not be there and it will take on whatever the background color of the email is. That is a paid function in Canva, so if you are working with free Canva, then just download it with the matching color in the background there. Head here to download, click transparent background, and there we go. Now I'm going to show you the next two graphics, and after that I'll show you how I add them to my emails. Okay, for this one, we're dealing with an oval image. So here I am adding our oval shaped frame. And then it has some graphics that connect the image to the background. So I'm going to add some hearts just like they did. These are cute. We're not gonna be able to see them there. And then one more, this one I'm going to flip horizontally. So they're not exactly the same. All right, let me get rid of our inspiration pick in the background here so we can see a little better. There we go. I'm going to, there we go, use that as our background color. And now let's put an image in it. All right, I dragged this cupcake in, but now I'm finding that these hearts are a little too light in color. So I'm going to play with them. We're doing this together. Blue. White. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Again, I'm going to download this with a transparent background. Right, so this next one here has an image. It has this text, which is part of the graphic. And this image also has a border around it. So we're dealing with a couple things here. First up, I'm going to put this image block in here. And then right up here, we can add a border. And this is also where you can round your corners. So I'm rounding the corners a bit like the original design. I'm adding a border. It's probably a little thicker than theirs, but I like us to be able to see it. And then you can pick the color of your border. All right, I'm gonna do a blue background with this one, so let's make the highlight yellow. Okay, there is our background, and now we need to add this text. And this actually uses one of my favorite text effects. All right, I'm going to make the text color the same color as that outline, because that's how they had in their design. I'm using I'm decreasing the line spacing here, so these are closer together. And now I really need to get rid of our inspiration here so we can see a little better. Okay, so now if I go into effects, you can add an outline and you can also add a background. I'm going to first try with the outline and see how thick I can make it. There we go. Have it match our background color. Look at that. Perfect. The other option I was looking at is a background. And this one, you can decrease the spread, round it out a little. 
then it covers all of it. I like the way that that line worked better. There we are. Let me add my image. All right, there's our delicious iced coffee. I'm going to download this again as transparent. All right, now let me show you how to make an email out of the graphic you just made. I'm going to be demonstrating this in MailChimp's new builder, but the strategies that I'm showing you should work in whatever email platform you're currently using. So for this email, um, the background color I have set is this yellow color because that's what we used for the first graphic that we made. I'm going to drag in my cinnamon roll. There she is. I can adjust the size here or have it fill up our whole image. I think probably a little bit smaller on this one. Now that I'm seeing it in here, I think there's actually too much space on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go in and edit it and just crop it. And now you can add in regular text that will adapt when you go into mobile and everything like that. Sunday is cinnamon roll day. There we go. And let's add our next image in. So our next one that we made was our cupcake hearts. And this one we intended to be on a pink background. So I'm just going to change the image background color. You know what? Just because we're here, and we can, I'm going to put this into a column because I might as well demonstrate how to do different things. Okay, and then finally we have our coffee. I'm going to add another image. I'm going to drag in that coffee image. All right, I like having this one on the bigger side, but I think we need a button just so that we can have a button. There we go, and I'm gonna add some padding at the bottom. Well, and there we are with all of our three different graphics that work seamlessly with the background, work perfectly with text, fit right in there. These hearts were even somewhat transparent, so the background color comes through. And if we look at it in mobile view, you can see, you can still see all of the text nice and big. Look at that. Well, there we go. I can't wait to see what you guys create. I will be making more Canva tutorials. So make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and to my email list so I can keep sharing things with you. And I will see you around.